Hi right, guys, Richard Retro here, back with another video. How's everyone doing? So yeah, so it's only like, what, a few days before we get to Doncaster? Um, and yeah, I got some... I think this is mostly for me, actually. Yeah, so this is mostly for me. Oh, it's a little prick up. Yeah, so I've been buying stuff on eBay, Amazon, and... No, not Amazon, just e it looks like eBay, Gumtree and train some stuff in and game shops so yeah it's not much maybe some stuff for me to sell at Doncaster but anyway yeah I went to a car boot sale um, I went with one of my friends um, he mentioned he got some Master System games from like a like a dealer so um, we sort of got to the car boot um, we got some massive games like or we got a Master System and like the Master System like um, I, have a steer, I think it was a steering wheel um, Anyway, yeah, he said, oh, this is where I got the masters from. There's a dealer here, and we sort of got the car, but he goes, oh, I'll go this way, you go that way. So I went this way, he went that way, and I think I, li I must have walked past him. Um, yeah, I walked past him, and then we sort of walked, walked past each other, right, mate? And we sort of went round where we sort of, like, both had looked, come back, I brought some stuff, and suddenly he comes along with, like, a box with, like, like a Master System, no, Master System games, they got for 50 quid, about 10, 50 number one. thinking, oh shit, man, fucking missed miss out on those fuckers. Um, yeah, this guy, yeah, I just asked him, you got any video games? This is, yeah, he's like, no, got no video games. So he must, he must have put them back from my mate or so, because, of, yeah, I'm like, what? So basically I missed him. Anyway, there's one game I really wanted and I paid 10 quid for it anyway, sort of like right there and then. And that was um, Ghost House, the Sega card version. Um, missing the sort of little slip case that goes with it. So it's sort of a bit loose in the box at the moment, but yeah, so I'm down to what 20, 25 or so I think now. So I need, I, to be honest, I need to update my list to find out how many. So yeah, so I'm slowly picking up some from our system. I was like, God, I'm like, God damn it. Um, yeah, I, I mean, like I said before, I got, I've got quite a lot of um, picked up lots, lots of games lately. And I was going to pop into um, Insane Games on the way up to Doncaster. But I had so much stuff. I don't think I could fit. I had like, what, four or five bags. So in the end, I took two bags with me. Um, yeah, so I thought, sod it. I got a day off. Um, I need to go to... Um, I need to go to like a city that's like halfway there anyway. So I thought, sod it. Or Exeter. You need to go to Exeter. So I thought, well, another 45 minutes to an hour. You know, I could, I could be where the, the insane game shop is. So I took some, took some games in, traded some stuff in, and this is what I got. I'm not sure if I already told the story or not. But yeah, traded some stuff in. Yeah, this is the second part of the video. <laughs> but I've done it like about four days later. <laughs> oh, so rusty. Um, yeah, so this is the games I've got. So yeah, I've got about 68 quid. Or I mean, I'm thinking about 68 quid. I think so, yeah. 68, 65 pound. And this is what I got, so, um, Konami, like, double dribble, so look, a little handheld, and this was eight quid, but, couldn't tell you if it's worth that, I just thought, I thought for once I'm picking up lots of stuff for Doncaster, it'd just be good to get something for me, sort of, for, for my collection. So, Critical Death, or Depth, so this was four quid, so I thought, um, yeah, result, I've never seen it so cheap before, normally it's about eight or nine quid, it looked complete. I checked the disc, and the disc looked like a really good condition, apart from it's got some, you know, the usual, like, dust. So, yeah, it doesn't even look like it's even been played, but it's got, like, the, the usual dust that you'll find. So, I thought, all right, that was a good price. Um, Mortal Kombat Gold. Uh, this was £10. It is complete, but as you can see, it says case damaged. But when I was sort of, like, trading some stuff in, I had um, Sega Rally, which I didn't realise I was actually in the box, in, in my bag. But well, that was like really good condition, basically the good condition case. So I literally got this, um, swapped the case round, and next time I go to insane games, I'll take Sega Rally with me, or I think I might just put it on my convention table for like four or five quid. Ukami, um, ten pound. Um, my one of my collection is I think it's a little bit scratched. So yeah, or not in the best condition disc. It still plays, but this one, you know, better, better condition disc. Yeah, I haven't swapped it out yet, but yeah, better condition disc for 10 quid, you know, I can't say no for that. Swap them out, and it should be able to maybe sell or trade, or basically sell for the same price I got it for. Um, Shadow Hearts, 
Feels really light. The disc, oh, the disc is there. Okay. Yeah, Shadow of Hearts from a New World. Um, I've never actually played this version, but yeah, but eight quid. Yeah, I could say no again. Yeah, you know, Shadow of Hearts is an um, amazing series. Um, underrated, I think. So yeah. Um, yeah, to make up like the three or four pound, I just picked up a game I haven't actually got. So this is called Super Farm. <laughs> Fight fast, love later. What the fuck is this game? As the only female... <laughs> Smurf it. <laughs> the beautiful turkey hen has made quite an impact down on, the, down on Super Farm. But when one day she snatched away... <laughs> oh, this looks like absolute garbage. It looks like some, like some kind of like mini games as well. But yeah. <laughs> Random. Super far, but for three quid, it looks quite funny. Okay, GameCube game. Um, I was missing from the collection, and that's Spawn of Again. Um, seven pound. So yeah, so I literally just went round, picked up all games for the same value. I'm not sure if it's worth that or not, but yeah, I thought I didn't have it, so I'm just gonna get it. Um, Capcom versus SNK two E O Millennium Fighter two thousand and one. This is twelve quid. So once again, complete. And that's all I think I got from there. Yeah, so that was, yeah. So I went up there, got rid of, what, probably about one and a half bags. Um, some stuff was rejected because of the, the, uh, the disc condition. Um, yeah, so well happy. Some new games in my collection, some new games to play. Some new stuff to um, have a go. When I'm on the train, when I go on a, going on a trip. So yeah, well happy. Yeah, just lately I've just spent so much like yeah, so much time trying to find stuff over for Doncaster table or to trade stuff in. It was just good to actually finally go to trade and actually get some games in the collection. Um, I did my usual charity shop finds. Uh, not sure in the previous video I said I picked up some DVDs, but this is one of the DVDs I did. Um, Ikea, the ultimate collection. So this was a couple of quid. So I'm not sure what... Uh, disc one, uh, digitally remastered feature, and then disc two, the original feature. So yeah, that's going to go in my anime collection. Um, next charity shop, um, it was actually in, uh, actually where I was in Insane Games. Um... Yeah, so this was there in, in just on a shelf, and it was three pound fifty for an old blue DS. Um, no charger. I don't think it's got a stylus or anything. So I literally took a gamble. I think it does turn on because it did turn on. Or did I actually leave on when I actually closed it? No. No. So yeah, so this was just for a resale value. I haven't even looked to see see what it's worth for the resale, but yeah, I'm not bothered about having it in my collection or not. Yeah, I can see the battery's quite low. I thought the battery would be flat by now. But for three pound fifty, I couldn't say no. Um, next up, I went into um, yeah my local game shops. I always go in there, just like looking around as you do, non-stop looking around. Um, yeah, they didn't have anything. I know something just like, yeah, I saw I saw these in the background. I'm like, you know, how much are they? And I'm trying to think how much I got this all for. I think it was 30 quid for all this lot. But it's sort of like a sealed PS2 um, silver remote. But as you can see, the actual packaging's a bit damaged. So these were actually 10 quid each. And also I got um, a black controller. As you can see, this uh, looks like it's been cut. But... They haven't been like opened or anything or opened right up. So it's just damaged packaging. They normally sell for 15 quid new, or if they're properly sealed, but I don't know why I brought them. <laughs> I thought, sod it, let's just pick them up. And there was also some discs there. Um, and I paid, I think these were a couple quid each. So yeah, disc two of four for Final Fantasy VIII. And just um, Spiral, A Hero's Tale, um, which I know I've actually got um, the, an unboxed version, or bo a box version, but it's missing the disc. So yeah, so that one, we'll go into that one. 
Um, yeah, so I think she gave me like four quid off. So yeah, this was actually like ten quid in the end. Um, yeah, I paid ten quid for Mortal Kombat 4. Um, I did have lots of discs and I sent them away um, to, to one of my friends to get disc lead. <laughs> but they have yeah, got lost in, the lo lost in the post or someone stole them, stole them in the post. So yeah, so I got a few of those games where um, I wanted a disc lead, but I actually just got the cases only. But yeah, Mortal Kombat 4 was one of them. So yeah, this one. Um, they disc cleaned it for me actually in... Yeah, not bad, disc clean actually in the shop. So now I can actually, yeah, so I think, I think this was like eight quid and they were just like a quid each in the end. So it was 30 quid for, for the, yeah, for this little collection. But now I can actually put this in Mortal Kombat 4 and I'll be able to, because I've got, I've got my own copy of it. So I'll be able to sell that one on. So I'm not sure how much it goes for. Last time it was like 15, 16 quid, but I can imagine that was probably about a year ago. I can imagine it's a 20 pound game now. I only got my mobile and everything, so I got it in check. <laughs> but yeah, well happy. Um, it, it, like I say, I've got cases there, just doing nothing. I must have about 200 cases on PS1, PS2, just doing nothing. So years ago, I always used to leave all the disc only, but now I wish I wish I, you know, I was sort of like crazy, got a bit more. But they also all filled up. Um, yeah, there's a few little, obviously, posts on like the Facebook ones. Um, and I remember seeing these, um, some guy got them, I was like, oh, I was about a second too late, or someone posted like, where it says a minute before I'm saying you, would take them all. I was like, oh, I'll buy, yeah, I'll buy them if, you know, if it falls through. And and it's just like PS2 promo, like, um, yeah. So sort of advertising promo, um, or advertising accessories. They're empty. I actually picked up some up, some from, um, my local game shop so I, got, I was able to get two but yeah he said he was gonna get some more in but yeah so i've got the dual shock silver i think silver um aqua controller dummy boxes that's what they're called uh playstation 2 headset the hd hard drive network adapter i think it is yeah Which I could actually put one of the net, net network access discs in that one because actually I've got a few spare of them. Oh, um, twin pack memory cards, and it, uh, it also shows like the picture on the back as well. Cool. I want. I literally need the, that twin pack actually, not this one, but actually need the twin pack like unsealed or sealed, sorry, and a silver memory card. Yeah, so these dummy boxes, awesome. So I've picked up a few lately. Uh, what else was there? Okay, yeah, just like I think, I think I might got at the same time as actually part of my um, my little charity shops. Um, I'm slowly like picking loads of D DVDs up, and I'm training the CX. But these are some of the ones I'm actually keeping for myself. Um, yeah, that's actually from my collection. Um, so yeah, in one place it was June, June, and a special edition of June. So yeah, special edition. June is like one of my favourite sci-fi films of all time. I guess the original like widescreen version, and this is just American version. And they were like what a quid each, or I think it might be three for a pound. And they say a quid on them, so yeah, a quid. I'm not sure they were cheaper than that, but yeah. So well happy. Not sure what to do with my um, American version, but also Walk of the Dead, um, complete third series. This is a sealed. The Walking Dead. Transformers the movie. And um, I've watched mine so many times that oh yeah, I thought I'd get get like another copy. Amazing. The soundtrack's brilliant. Walking Dead, Season 2, includes UK exclusive bonus features. Yeah, and this was one that's from my collection because I was just comparing to see if I actually got it or not. But I have got that, so I don't actually need the other June um, special feature one. <laughs> I could never, never remember what I fucking got. Um, yeah, I did pick up a couple more um, DVDs, but I went to CEX and yeah, so I paid like one or two pounds for them. I think it was three DVDs. I paid like, yeah, three quid for three DVDs. 
And I traded him in just for um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So I went to CEX and I got what? I think it was 15, 16 quid for those three DVDs. I thought, oh, result. Um, yeah. You could sell them online. Um, I, I always like, you know, scan them into Amazon and it comes up saying, you know, seven pound. It came up maybe, for example, seven pound twenty. And, you know, by the time you actually posted listing and you go CEX and you get like six quid, six quid trading, you think, oh, result. <laughs> so just take them, take them in for six quid trading instead of trying to sell them on Amazon for seven pound twenty. And then you obviously you have to pay the fees and all that jazz as well. So you probably end up with only five pound like cash in your hand anyway. So it's just easy to go to CEX. Trade them in, pick up one of these, put my convention table. Um, these are always like good sellers anyway, so I could just do the same price as CEX and make money that way as well. We'll beat, we'll beat CEX by a quid. Um, what else I got down here? Oh, I've got a couple of board games. Absolute garbage board games. Disorderly conduct. <laughs> um, yeah, this was two pound fifty, and I literally just looked on eBay, completed listings, and there was one for fifteen quid or so. And yeah, with UK Games Expo coming up, I'm lacking a bit of ball games to take there. So I'm gonna take this, maybe put ten, twelve pound on it, and I think it will sell. A uh, bit unusual board game. Yeah, there was only what one or two on eBay, I think. So yeah, because so I could sell it on there, like I said, take a UK Games Expo, put it in the bring and buy, and we're going to get money that way back and sort of reinvest into more ball games. I also picked up a wrist. Not, uh, the box is not in the best condition, but it is complete. Um, this was only a couple of quid. So, last time I was selling these for 15 to 20 quid, but I haven't, I haven't looked lately, so... I thought result. It just needs bagging, cleaning, and all that jazz. I just turned it off, so literally, I haven't bagged it, and everything's just me going like that. It's just like, <laughs> all the pieces are just fucking mixed up. <laughs> Absolutely painful. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I don't have to do that. I want to wear every game. Um, next one is The Lord of the Rings of Two Towers. Antique ivory and Chinese. Sorry, finished. Ch Ch <laughs> yeah, this was a couple of quid as well. I thought, well, I can't say no for a couple of quid. And it's still solid taped up. I haven't even had time to even look inside, but yeah. So it's going to be interesting. I can imagine that's the board. But yeah. I can't wait actually to open that up. Um. What else did I get? Oh, a couple of items um, from Scope. It's got Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. It says Disney, Disney Junior, Junior. So I've got these for one fifty each. But I know I can shift them. i you know, I know I can shift them for five pound each, or or even more. So yeah, my bit do it both for a pair, fifteen pound. Put them on eBay and see. I think you know, at Christmas time, they make they make some good money. Oh, oh also got some. Was it a Daffy Duck? Was it no Donald Duck? <laughs> Get out of here, Donald. So this was from the Disney Store. Disney Store, Free Queen, Caroline Street, London. He's a bit yellow on the ass, if I remember. You can't quite see it here, but yeah, I better clean him up. So it says, yeah, it says at Disney, so posh pause. So for you, Mickey Mouse. The Minnie Mouse. Well, it could be ripoffs. You never know. So yeah, I need to look those jokers up. Anything else in there? No. Nope. Yeah, this is my receipt of all the stuff I've traded in. But my life. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I just had a couple of like DS games, just car onlys that I remember just picking up for fifty p or so. Kids games. They got two pound twenty trade in. I haven't even looked at this yet. When did air? When did army men air attack on the PS? PS one. I'm gonna need to look at that price because I got three pound trade in on like the shittest army men game ever. Normally, like, I like literally don't even pick up Army Men games. Like, even in charity shops for like a quid, I just leave them. But I've got three pound training on Army Army Men Air Attack. When did that? When did some of these games just go up in price for fun? Don't they? Was it PS One or PS Two? I can't remember. Okay. Army men air attack. This is Let's have a look. Army men air attack. Okay, that game's gone off in price. Let's go to the complete listings. Or is it just people being stupid? I think that one just sold for 99p. And there's people doing it buy it now like 10 quid. Buy it now 8.99. So it literally is a quid game, but I was getting free quid trading for it. Result. What others was like really funny? I think all the rest of that is 60p, 80p. Sims 2 on PS2, I got 2 quid for. Two quid trade in. I oh, once sold for four seventy. I mean, I was not selling for one ninety nine. <clears throat> yeah, so it's just it's just easy for me to to, to trade all these games that I just don't give a shit about and then buy games like that that I don't. You know, I could try and sell them on the Amazon and eBay, but it's just the time posting it's just ridiculous so oh, I'd love to know how many items this was there's a fucking lot anyway too many too many I might get a membership card because it's like it says on the bottom lots of points I could have earned. <laughs> I don't know what you get if you get lots of points. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's my fucking receipt. <laughs> oh, I would just continue taking my games that I literally just don't care about and trade them in and get stuff. So yeah, and um, what was next? I don't know whether I open this or not. Um, yeah, I went to, um, like, I was selling at a convention locally, um, it's normally the, sort of the first one of the year, um, I sort of sell, set my, set my table up, so it's just a good little practice to set it up with all my new items, and there was a guy, I completely forgot your name, I'm so sorry, but um, he's from Western Supersonic, yeah, I think it's Western Supersonic, so he you know, holds like a, um, a Sonic event, uh, I think he did by Kickstarter last, last year, in Western Supermare. And I remember saying, yeah, I remember seeing him last year, actually. And I couldn't remember which event I actually saw him at. But it actually does this one. And I was like, all right, mate. And he was there selling some stuff. And, um, yeah, I was just speaking to him. I'm like, oh, God, I couldn't go. And he gave me, um, what do you see? It should be a Sonic, Sonic poster. So I got Sonic Mania poster. And a Sonic Forces poster. 
I messaged Good Kieran straight away, and he was like, oh, because he was supposed to come help me on that day, and he messaged me saying, oh, he's like, too busy, I can't come. I'm like, mate, I'm seeing the guy from, you know, Western Supersonic. <laughs> um, I got a Sonic, I got a free Sonic Mania poster off him. And he was like, literally crying, <laughs> literally crying. Good Kieran was literally crying, and then. Um, and I, I have a seller some posters, and then he suddenly started looking at them. And he's like, oh, my God, you got loads of Sonic posters. I'm like, yeah. I've got loads of Sonic. Um, like, I've picked up loads of posters lately. Um, obviously, to sell over at conventions or to keep for myself. And there's just loads of, obviously, every DS game which had Sonic on. Um, yeah, I had the poster for. So he just took some. Actually, purchased quite a lot off me. And in the end, I gave him a few free because I got this one. And at the end of the convention, he goes, oh, I've got one more poster for you. And I was like, good key, you lucky fucker. <laughs> <laughs> so I came back with two posters. <laughs> I'm like, good key, I've got you fucking extra poster, mate. Who would live fucking loving it. And um, you also had some retro gamers there. Um, I remember buying, I think it was three retro gamers off him. Um, I do have some, I have, yeah, I basically got about 90% of retro gamers. But this one had like the Master System World the cover. It had, obviously had like a Master System issue. Oh, I think there was like a Mega Drive one. I think there was a Saturn one. And I think I got like a... Yeah, I think he might have kept the Saturn one because um, obviously it's, it's a Sonic fan. It's got some Sonic games on there. I remember he looked like he kept it behind. Uh, maybe a Nintendo one? Um, yeah, it's sort of like... So, I thought, well, for the sake of a quid, because they were still there, I thought, well, for the sake of a quid, um, I'm going to buy it all three. I, can't, I just put them near my collection, like the Master System one, just like buy my Master System games on my consoles. Um, instead of trying to look in my like, cupboard where I have like a fucking ball, ball in. <laughs> anyway, at the end when I was leaving, he gave me the extra poster. He goes, oh, do you want these uh, retro gamers? He had another like 20 retro gamers. I go, well, not to, not really, mate. I go, I've got them. I took the ones I want. He goes, well, you can have them for free. And I thought, well, result. So yeah, so he gave me about 20, you know, about 20 retro gamers for free. Um, they're, all, they're all about, it must have been 110 upwards, I think. Yeah, so around there. So none of the early sort of ones or pre-100. It's all after 100. But yeah, so there's a couple I sort of missed. Oh, I wouldn't mind keeping those two. So yeah, so I've got about 15 or so. I'll be taking a Doncaster, sell it. I might just put three quid on them, you know, just sell them. Um, people, hopefully people will buy them. They're bloody heavy, so I've got two big boxes um, that I can barely lift up with my skinny arms. Um, just full, full of magazines, Dreamcast magazines. I think there's a couple of Saturn or Sega ones there. PlayStation, um, DC, another Dreamcast magazine. I've got the official one as well. A um, couple others and some and retro gamers. So yeah, I'll just take them there, just put them on the floor. You know, three quid, four quid each. Um, yeah, it's better to get rid of them because they're just hoard, hoarding up space, taking up space. Um, yeah, and what's next? Um... I think this is the last item. Uh, Blaze, like PlayStation infrared controllers. Um, I want these off eBay. Uh, I think it was like for for tenner or yeah, something like that for about a tenner. Um, I think I was drunk and yeah, as you can see, the the box is a bit faded and the picture was a bit better. So I was a bit drunk and I um, ordered this or on eBay. So and I know came from the post. I think what the fuck is that? And it's these, and uh, they look absolutely shit. Uh, the box is faded, and I'm thinking, I don't want this. <laughs> but then I did look at my collection, thinking I do have literally every, you know, every other Blaze like peripheral that you can actually get. So, you know, the link cable. Uh, I think there's like a memory card down there. Um, so for for ten quid, I'll fucking keep it. Um, yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just garbage. Absolute garbage. <laughs> Why? Pointless. Absolutely pointless. Um, and there's one last find. Um, as I was probably said before, I work at a supermarket. And um, I've moved department from one side of the store to the other. And there's someone I haven't seen for ages. Um, so you can see her in the charity shops. But I haven't seen her for ages. I go, oh, where have you been? And she's like, um, I'm, I'm mostly out back now. I go, oh, damn, I've been in been in for a while every time we go there, there's no video games and she sort of said oh we got some out back um we don't know what to do with them i'm like oh result i go um, well um i'll come in today and she's like yeah come in um literally like <laughs> quickly do all my work um i'm gonna go for a break <laughs> <laughs> drove down there 
and you know, and this this what basically came out. Um, I, I think I actually left some of the some of it in the car. It was a G-Con um, G-Con gun, grey um, forty five, I think gun, and a PlayStation controller, Dual Shock, and that was in a bag. But I think I've left I've left that in the car. Um, one of those orange recyclable bags uh, that had an Xbox in and an X and two Xbox controllers. I think that's still in the car as well. Um, you said, oh, I've got some more. It's not in the best condition. It's a bit destroyed, but yeah. So it's a Super Nintendo boxed, or Super, yeah, Super NES control set. Um, no inlay to it. In a packaging. But it did have Super Mario Kart. Not bad condition, Super Nintendo. It's great. Right, look, like I said, I've literally, <laughs> I've literally just dumped it on the floor, opened the box, and after it, before I did the video, just like, <laughs> out. So I didn't even know Super Mario Kart was even there. And yeah, two controllers, power lead, a random Joy Tech Auto RS Switch Pal I. So I think I'm going to be keeping that. I'll be using one of the, you know, the Chinese or Japanese or, yeah, Chinese, like, imported um, connectors. Uh, but this was a random one. SN Programmable Pad. So I've never seen one of these jokers before. I guess that means Super Nintendo Programmable Pad. And it's got a little, little display, if you can see. Yeah, so I literally just uh, opened the box like that. And it's just come out. Um, yeah. I have, I got that all for a tenner, so I got Super Nintendo, <laughs> Super Mario Kart, this, an Xbox um, original black one with two controllers. Um, it is dusty as fuck, uh, a bit dirty, so I'm gonna clean that up. Um, it's toss a coin whether that works or not, but yeah, I'm gonna trade that in. I'm not even gonna bother trying to sell it myself. I'm just tr trade it in, get get ten, twelve pound for it, whatever. Literally, that will get my money back for what I paid. Um, you got the G Con guard. Um, it's the connectors there as well, which I I needed one more connector for something um, for my collection. So if you're going to sell the gun or maybe for five or six pound, um, just yeah, just just the gun. Not the connector. And uh, yeah, I got like a Super Nintendo. So hopefully I'll be able to maybe iron out the kinks or yeah. So not even not sure. I look for inlays. Um, that's sort of maybe the wrong size for some of the sort of. I think I did have a spare um, like um inlay packaging. Or tray, but I don't think it's that size. I think it's this longer, thinner one. The ones that say Mario All Stars box or the um, um, Star Wing got a box set that looks too small, yeah. But not bad for a tether. I wonder if I could go to CX or trade it in and be like, they'd probably give me box price. I bet there'll be something that will give me box price for this. <laughs> <laughs> but if it takes something that you fucking with all the packaging that's inside, they'd be like, nah. It's a, yeah, the console's a bit yellow. We have to give you a box price. <laughs> oh, fucking you love or hate them. Fucking hell. But yeah, well happy. Well happy. So this must be like in the last two weeks by like fourth or fifth video. And Doncaster is literally like a week away. So I need to start uploading all my videos. <laughs> so hopefully I'll do that in the next couple of days. But cheers, yeah, thanks for liking, sharing, guys. I've got a lot of shit to sort out. Yeah. I also got a bag of cars. Two quid, and there was like shitloads of bag of cars. There's a couple of Transformers in there. But I know nothing about cars, so this is going to my little car dealer friend. And hopefully, it will give some money for me. Or at least trade him in. Um, yeah, that's it. It's done. Let's get everything organised. Um. Oh, I do have a couple of packages, but I sort of boxed it away now. Oh no, I could, I, I could, I'll do it now. I've got like. Um, I bought two items on eBay, um, quite cheap because they were local pickup only. Um, one person offered to post, while another person did offer to post. So I got a courier to go pick them up. First time I've had a courier to get a courier myself to pick them up. The guy, I'm like, oh, I'll give you like twelve pound postage. You know, you better go. Obviously, go go to my your local my my homies or collect plus. He's like, no, no, I'm not posting, mate. You have to, you know, do your own um, 
do you own courier? And um, yeah, someone said about Postal Plus or something like that. Or, yeah, all in Postal. And uh, basically for seven quid, um, I did their, yeah, basically they picked up, picked up the item. Well, I basically printed out, I, I'm, I'm supposed to print out the label, but I didn't print out the label, I just sent the label to him. He printed it out, yeah. He printed the label out that I like emailed to him. Put it on the box, they collected it, and like two days later they delivered it, which was really quick. I thought, bloody hell, I might use, I might use you guys in the future. Instead of wasting me all my time with all my packages and, you know, driving four or five miles just to bloody do my post when I'm like doing two or three trips back and forth because I can't, can't carry that much. Um, it would have been easier doing that. <laughs> Getting them to come to my door, much easier. Oh, I need to catalogue those jokers. Anyway, yeah, so he picked it up. He said he gave me his business like address. So that was really good because he says, oh, he's in, he's in there all the time. Um, literally nine to five, Monday to Friday. And yeah, picked it up. Yeah, two days ago. And it came yesterday. So I was like, God. So this is only one. There's something I've shared on Facebook, which I've actually packed away now. But yeah, which is really cool. Which I want for 99p, local pickup. Uh, the guy only did 24 hours. Um, so hardly anyone saw it. But yeah, it's a big like Star Wars display thing. And yeah, I paid, what, £14 post. So it's basically 15 quid postage. But this one, um, I won on eBay. Um, yeah, it was next day delivery. It was only like seven quid. So, I thought, seven quid? Unless it said 70 quid. I need, yeah, possibly, can't be 70 quid. So, let's try and, like, open it up. So, I just see how much I actually um, got this for off eBay. Problem is, there's probably too much stuff that I want to keep. It's really weird because obviously I'm used to sort of like print out a label where I'm sending it to somebody. So I nearly put my own dress for them to pick up something that wasn't even here. <laughs> or like like a PayPal. I also did it signed for. But yeah. It didn't sign for, but it was just literally just left outside. I'm like, what? <laughs> and an email saying, your, pa your package has been delivered as and has been signed for. I'm thinking, what? <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm at work. <laughs> I'm signed for. I'm going to be signed for when I'm at work. <laughs> literally driving over like a crazy man, thinking it's just been left outside. So it's just, just, just left outside. Thinking, what? <laughs> Good job it's like nice and sunny. Yeah, so this is what I got. Hope it's weird. Fuck okay, it, let's get this guy first. <laughs> fucking Mario. <laughs> he's, a, he's fucking massive. I didn't think it would be that big. £26. So yeah, this one got £26 for this lot and it was literally £7 postage. I didn't think it would be that fucking big. So there's lots of plushies. Oh, some of them still have the tags. Oh, no, I'm going to fucking want to keep these fuckers, aren't I? Small little marrow. Okay, that's, that's the me by cell conventions. Quite a few new ones. Little Yoshi. saw before I always get asked for plushies just like this fucking toad I think I've already got him in my collection but I keep the one with the tag and sell the one that I don't well that's in my collection oh it's my 
and the fucking Kame. <laughs> <laughs> Each. <laughs> get, get out of here! Good job, the soft toys. Okay, some more little figures. Oh, nice little, nice little tub. Thank you very much. Oh, McDonald's little figures. Okay, he looks like one of one of the old original 1993 Nintendo ones. Result. Oh, I'm literally, just, I'm literally selling sealed versions of these. Uh, these were in um, Toys R Us, and they were really cheap for like two quid each. And I've sold a few for like seven quid each. Oh, I, I, I saw this, I thought I could buy this to try and obviously sell on my convention tables. But I'm going to keep all this, aren't I? Fucking hell. Okay, and I got a few of these jokers. Looks like Kirby, Alex, Alex Kid, Mario, Mushroom. I can't really tell what that is. Is that a key? Maybe we're facing it the wrong way. Oh, there's loads of them here. <laughs> They must be from the fucking. It's fucking. It's. It's a dog cunt. Okay, I think that is it. We've got another massive box and fucking recycling came today. I should have done this yesterday. <laughs> I have to keep that for another like three or four weeks because recycling is so shit around here. <laughs> yeah, fucking shit loads of stuff. I can't believe it. So that was 30 quid. 30 quid. And I'm going to keep up most of this. Absolutely going to keep most of this. The little fig, the fig is, you're a McDonald's toy. 2016 McDonald's toy. I'm not keeping you. Keeping you. Oh, keeping you, keeping you, keeping you, keeping you. Oh, I wanted to sell. I wanted to buy them to sell, but they are absolutely fucking awesome. Keeping you. Selling you, selling you. Keeping, keeping. I think I've already got him. Swap him out. Keep him. Oh, why am I such a sucker for keeping? Oh, yeah, I need to swap you out. Yeah, so I'm keeping all these jokers. These things I'm not too bothered about, actually. But I do like them. Do I need two stars? Of course I do. It's not the same Kirby. I think it's Kirby. I can look like Kirby. Yeah, well happy. I was gonna try and sell these like I was gonna try, you know, sell in for like seven quid, that one for seven quid, these for five quid each. So I thought I could easily get five quid each for these, for conventions. Well, these are fucking cool. I didn't realise how big that bad boy was. I'm like looking over there thinking, oh, I've got room in my, some room in my Mario cabinet. Oh, why am I such a sucker for this? Why? Why am I such a hoarder? I don't need any of this. <laughs> <laughs> Killing me, absolutely killing me. So those guys over there, hopefully I can sell it for twenty for thirty quid. <laughs> get my money back. So I like to, I like to get even. <laughs> Toad, you must be worth fifteen quid. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it. That's like a random little thing at the end. 
Oh, that's you like him so much. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I don't even have room. I think I've got room for... I've got room for either these, these lot or him with the cabinet. I don't think I've got room for fucking him. <laughs> look, look at the size of him. Look at the size of that gun. <laughs> fucking hell, he's massive. I've got no, got no room for him. And the plushies, yeah. Don't think I've got room for them either, but... The hoarding in me tells me to hoard. Um, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. <laughs> fucking, little, fucking little random thing at the end. <laughs> um... I can't even move. Literally can't even move. But that's it, really. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for sharing or liking. Um, cheers, guys. Woo -woo.